I S U P K. Hey, Salam, man. It's Priest Kevin Kadoha with the I S U P K. And the Commander Johnny Yahana in California, man. It's like all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Subscribe to this channel, man. You want true salvation? You got to learn from the priests and prophets of the I S U P K, man. Subscribe to that channel. Hit that button, man. And it's there with that. Salam. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know I was in danger. Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger Pray to him all the time, but I was just a stranger All I ever wanted was to be a gangster Little did I know I was in danger Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger Pray to him all the time, but I was just a stranger All I wanted was to be a gangster And shot call To be known with them niggas letting shots off Either that or the right hand to the top door Funny how we see vanity and not the lives lost Can't be focused on a life that's hopeless Out there pumping, not knowing the Lord will kill you for that hocus pocus Used to roll with niggas that cook dope with weaponry Same ones claim they love you, I had your life in jeopardy And I know my mother won't success for me But that G should take a girl straight to ecstasy and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. The Lord shall do what? Scatter thee among all people. Black people, you black men, you know you, you are scattered everywhere, right? Everywhere, everywhere that we are scattered, we are working for oppression. You got black people scattered here, mainly scattered here in America. You got blacks who are scattered over there in the Caribbean. And guess what? You think they you think over there in Jamaica they're free? No, they're working for East Indians over there. The East Indians have conquered them, man. Have, have, the East Indian have conquered us over there in the Caribbean. No, the white men have conquered us over here in America. Everywhere we are at, but there's some kind of oppression over us, and it's because we are cursed, man. Go ahead. From the one end of the earth, what noise, man? Go ahead. From the one end of the earth, even to the other. So all over, we are scattered. We were scattered through slavery, go ahead. And there, thou shalt serve other gods. And we shall do what? Serve other gods. Celebrate Christmas. Serve other gods. Celebrate Easter. Serve other gods. Celebrate Halloween. Serve other gods. Celebrate Thanksgiving, which is the murder of our brothers, Native American Indians. Serve other gods. We was gonna be separate, we were gonna be scattered and serve other gods. These holidays just aren't friendly holidays. I know, I know we think we're in a Christmas spirit. I know, ooh, Thanksgiving is coming up November next month. We getting our stomach good and ready for some turkey and some ham, right? These ain't nothing but worship of other gods or, or, or a celebration of your enemy's victories, man. Thanksgiving is a celebration of when our oppressor was, was victorious over our brothers. And victorious over stealing a land. How idiotic do we look celebrating our enemy's victories, man? We have been doing it forever. It's time that we celebrate our own victories. And if, and if you open up this Bible, you'll find many victories of blacks and Hispanics. But your Christian, your pastor, and your church will never teach it because they decided to sell out for some money. They decided to, they, they decide, decided to please their oppressor and grease their pockets by doing so. Go ahead. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Which neither either you or your fathers don't know. That's that's why that's why when black people when black people when you when you go to school when you young you got to be taught about all these things. And if you ask if you ask a black person today why they do certain things they don't know. Like why you celebrate Christmas? Oh, it's for Jesus' birthday. It's, it's Jesus' it's Jesus's birthday. He asked me, do you how do you know that? Show me Christmas in the Bible. They can't show you. You ask them to show you. If you ask them, why you celebrate Thanksgiving? I ask them, why do they do it? They say it's, it's, it's to be thankful. When it's not to be thankful, man. Every holiday has a so called has some kind of some kind of lie to it. Whereas the Thanksgiving is supposed to be for it's, it's, it's supposed to be a time when family members family members give each other Thanksgiving or th be thankful for each other, give thanks. When really it is nothing but the murder and destruction of Native American Indian people, man, who are our brothers. These holidays are nothing but pagan or murderous holidays and celebrations, man. 
And, then, and, and, and it is not of your culture. And it is not of your it's not of uh, your race, black man. Go ahead. Even wood and stone. Even wood and stone. That wood is that cross. That stone is represent is representing that Kabbalah stone. That old Islam that we know nothing about. Let a let a that cop that cobblestone, Salah. For for the for those errors, man. Black man, you not know error. What do you know about Islam? Nothing at all. Right. And if you if, if you study Islam, you'll know that uh, a lot of, that Muhammad stole it stole it from us. The reason why the, the reasons why they pray to the East and the reason why they don't eat pork is hey. because they stole it from black culture. You already was doing that before the Arabs. You already was celebrating uh, worshiping one God before the Arabs. Before Muhammad seen that seen the black seen the Jews who are black. Having one God, they had 360 gods. They had many different gods. But Muhammad, Muhammad, seeing the culture and the strength of the Jews who are black, and he said, "You know what? My people got to get like that. My people have to be one-minded under one God and have one faith." Man, go ahead. Give me 68. Verse 68. <clears throat> And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. What is that Egypt? Egypt is an old Greek word for bondage. And the Lord, and the Lord said he would do what? Bring thee into Egypt again in ships. The Lord is going to bring us into Egypt again with ships. The verse that went to Egypt, it was not about ships. It's talking about bondage. And who are, who are the only people who went into slavery by ships? The black man. You went into slavery by millions. By ships in the in a transatlantic slave trade. Go in. By the way thereof, whereof I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And then by the way, what is the way? Our way was is was Israel. That's where the Negroes are at. And the Lord said, You will not see Israel again. Go in. And this, there you shall be sold unto your enemies. You will what? Be sold unto your enemies. Nah, man. Who was who, who sold? Who were the only people sold to the enemies, man? You blacks and Hispanics, you were sold to your enemies. That should show you who your enemy is. Why, why, why if, the, if the Bible says you were sold to your enemy, why the hell am I, why the hell am I smiling at my oppressor's face today? Why the hell is my savior, why, why does my savior, Christ, have to be white? When Christ is a black man. It's because we were sold to our enemies, man. Why the hell, why the hell I gotta change my voice and shave my beard if I know I was sold, if I was, if I was sold to my enemy? Why, why would I now think I gotta put on a suit, suit and tie to be a better person? It's because we were sold to our enemies. That's why. Go ahead. For bond men and bond women. For what? Bond men and bond women. For slave men and slave women, we were sold to be we were sold to our enemies to be slaves. Do not don't let that be wrong. Don't do not let any anybody sway you about that, man. And we are still slaves today. I'm gonna show you how. Read on. And no man shall buy you. And no man shall buy you. Meaning what? An old, an old English word for no man shall save you. That's why we have no justice. We have no justice because it is a curse that we will not have any, that we will not be saved in our poverty, man, in our destruction, unless we come back to, unless we come back to following the, Lord, the most high uh, commandments, man. Right. Read it again. No man shall do what? And no man shall buy you. And no man shall buy us, man. That's why, that's why racist cops can kill a black man and not get indicted. And that black family does not get any justice for the murder that was just committed to their family member, man. It's ridiculous because no man shall buy us. No man shall save us as long as we are Christian. Because Christians do not worship God. No man shall buy us. No man shall save us. God is not going to save us as long as we are Muslim. Because Islam is not of black culture. It is not of God's culture, man. Read it again. And no man shall buy you. And no man shall buy us. No man is going to save us as long as we are seeking for a leader who is not Christ, who is not our brother. We 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 get ready in 2020. We we so scared of Donald Trump. We are so scared of Donald Trump 
like we never had a devil be a rule over the rule over us before. How long have we been we have been ruled by devils? Ronald Reagan was a devil. George Washington Abraham Lincoln was a devil. This devil is just more open with his words. That's it, man. And see, and Caesar was a devil. Those Romans were devils, man. How we have been ruled by devils forever. This one is just more a little more a little more out there. He he grab a vagina in your face and gonna talk about it. He don't care. He's just a little more out and open. He'll call you bad hombres and call Latinos rapists. He, he, he just isn't politically correct. That's it. But we have always been ruled by evil oppressors, man. We have, we have always been killed by them. And no man is gonna save us from these evil oppressors. No man is gonna save us. And God is not gonna save us until we, until we turn and be obedient to his laws. Where you at? Give me uh let's get let's get more, let's get more about our condition, man. Get it, get Ezekiel 35 and 5. And let's just let's just find out. Why we, let's, let's find out no matter what we do, no matter how we change our voice, no matter how much you shave your hair and shave your face, no matter how much you no no matter how much, no 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 matter how much you become a Republican or a Democrat, you cannot you cannot please your oppressor. No matter what you do, no matter no, no matter how much you hug them, no matter how much you join the Navy and the Army and the Air Force, you seem to still get shot dead in the streets. You seem to still be hated in America. No matter what you do, man. No matter how much violent nor or non-violent you become, you still because he, he still treats you like an enemy. Go in. Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. What does perpetual mean? Perpetual means continual. Right. Our this this oppressor has had a perpetual hatred. The white the white man, he is not he, he, he was in America, he was in Rome, he was in Greece, he was all over the earth. And has always had a hatred for us. We have we have always been enemies since the womb. Go ahead. And had, and had shed the blood of the children of Israel. And the white man did what? Shed the blood of the children of Israel. Our oppressor has always shed our blood, man. Has always shed our blood. He was always going to continually hate you, man. No matter if you're doing good or bad. You try to be good. You see black people are hungry. So you say, you know what? Let's get together and have a lunch program. Let's get together and build shelters. And now the white man, he, now our oppressor has to come and try to disturb them programs. Anything you try to do for your people, he try to stand in the way. That's why you must seek the protection of God so you can be untouched, man. That's right. Be untouched by, by, by a supernatural protection and power. Go ahead. By the force of the sword in the time of their calamity. Right, our oppressors shed our blood by the force of the sword in the time of our calamity. In a time of our punishment, right now we are cursed. We already live in a hell. We are already sleeping on the streets. We are already poor, and they still gotta kill us. We are already poor, and they still gotta and they still gotta move you out of D.C. and tell you to go live go go live in Maryland, go live in Virginia. D.C. ain't gonna be Chocolate City no more. It's gonna be what? What the brother said this morning? D.C. is now Pride City, meaning a homosexual city. That's what DC is. It is Pride City now. They might look the DC. The DC flag is uh what? Got the red stars and the, and the white and red. You know the DC logo. Just put the just put the the, the, the rainbow logo on it for DC <laughs> rainbow. For for the DC flag. The, 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 some some brother said that this morning that DC. No, nah, it was one of our brothers. One of, the, one of these priests and prophets. They were they were prophesying about DC and was saying, you know what? DC ain't Chocolate City no more, it's Pride City. And they so totally correct. And, and the homosexual force is so strong here, whereas the, you got one homosexual that was walking his dog at Howard University, walking his dog, and, they, and I guess his dog was pooping, the dog was pooping on the lawn, right? So what the, the Howard students complained about it? 
they, 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 the, the Howard students, how, how long has Howard University been, been created and established and students have been study, studying and walking to Howard Yard? Forever, how many black students have been doing that forever, right? Since the, since the early 90s. Now, you got white people who are moving into DC, they walking their dogs to, 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 through the Howard Yards. They not picking up after their dogs. So the black students are complaining like, look, why are you letting your dog poop in the yard? Clean it up. And now you got white people saying, you know what? Let's just get rid of the whole Howard. Why is Howard here? Like, why is Howard here? I, I, I want to walk my dog, and Howard is in my way. It's ridiculous, man. Go ahead. In the time that their iniquity had an end, therefore as I live, saith the Lord God. Right, like right now is supposed to be the time that our poverty ends. That the time of our curses ends. Right. But our oppressor just pushes it further. Our oppressor see, see that we are, what, like, what, like what more can be done to black people? You're already number one AIDS and AIDS and HIV. You're already being pushed out of your home, out of your homes. We're already, we're already standing in line for food stamps or and whatever else. I will press and say, you know what, God, nah, this more to be done. Just flat out shoot them. Shoot, shoot, pulling you over wasn't good enough. So now the cops are just walking in your house and shooting you, man. You see how evil the oppressor is. God has to stop the oppressor. God has a brain has to rain down fire and brimstone to America to stop them. Other than that, other, other than God telling the oppressor, he is not going to stop because he will have a perpetual hatred for blacks and Hispanics, man. Go ahead and read. I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. You see that black? You see that America? You see that because of, because of your because of your continual hatred, because you walk in black people's homes and shoot them. God has to prepare blood for you. Because you, because you see Hispanics who are running from Mexico, who are running from the terrors, who, for, the, for their terrible homelands in Central and South America, that their, their, their land are being taken over by drug lords. And, they, and, they, and they're, they're trying to run away from their lifestyle. But you, but you will not give them aid. I thought America was the land of home and free. I see America go over there to Ukraine and go over there to the Middle East and try to supply aid and safety for other for, for um, other races and other people over there. Well, guess what? The Mexicans need aid. The the, the Central and South Americas they are trying to run from the from that drug cartel. They're trying to run from that drug lifestyle in their home. They're trying to run from the corrupt government. Why the hell you won't give them any aid? Because you are you are hate you are a people who have too much hate in your heart. You have no compassion. No compassion for anybody, so God has to kill you, man. Go ahead. God has to prepare you for blood. Go ahead, huh? Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate. Mount Seir is the homeland. Was known was known for was known for uh, that's what that's another word for where Caucasians live. Mount Seir. Whenever you hear whenever you hear about Mount Seir, it's talking about white people. And the Lord said he gotta do what? Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate. Most Seir, he gonna make it most desolate. Because anywhere, anywhere they go, they have to rape, pillage, and murder. And even, and even after, they, after they conquer that land, they gotta make some slaves and, and treat them so cruel. Treat them so cruel. Like, like I, I understand if you conquer a land and you get some servants, those servants wash your dishes, mow your lawn, and then at a, at a certain time, you let them go home to their family and take care of their family. Nah, not this oppressor. This oppressor wants, you, wants your life and your soul. It wants your youth, it wants all your energy to, to drive and to improve his society. And after that, he'll throw you away like a rag, man. Go ahead. Trying to find something to follow, hand loyalty.
every man tried to borrow Felt pain and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow Need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Boy, this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit That's a red turd from oppression Felt like my life was on fire Trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good shepherd Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell No call it can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well Can't you tell I was sent from the Lord Got a tongue like a two-edged sword